Hello, I'm Franklin Marshall III. And this is Cyrus, and this is the podcast where we interview people with podcasts. All right. <clears throat> We're back. We're back. We're back. Arguably better than ever. Arguably. Arguably, yeah. Where's the argument come from? I'm making the argument. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, the argument. I'm making the argument. I feel like this, there's a certain energy right now with yeah. season two. Yeah. It's coming in hot, like a yeah. freight train. Like a freight, a freight train. Yeah. I never understood that. Yeah, they come in hot. That reference. Do you, you ever see like a runaway train just... No, I don't take trains. Just killing people? No, I don't like trains. What's your favorite transportation? I actually like trains. Mm-hmm. It's a very nice way of transport. You ever go by... There's no one, there's no one pats you down. Yeah. You just hop on. You get to look outside. It's you nice. see, the, see the country go by. Yeah. I don't live in the 1800s, so I don't take trains. Well, sometimes maybe you should go back there. No. You have the suspenders. You could look... You, that outfit could work in the 1800s. No, it could Yeah, it could. No, it could I mean, you wouldn't work in the 1800s, but that outfit would work. Maybe. They weren't, they weren't nice to people with spinal curvatures back then. They just would just be like, they'd be like, they point at you. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Maybe you could get work because I feel like you'd be like, a, like, like you work at a circus. Hmm. That's a very circus outfit. Yeah. Keep, keep going here, Cyrus. Yeah. <laughs> just digging a rabbit hole. Yeah. I, I like, this is like a very barman barely friendly outfit. Okay. So uh, guests, huh? That's what I'm waiting for. I thought I was going to really bring home a doozy of a guest. Yeah? I went to this like, networking event, and it would turn out to be way more highfalutin than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was just going to some like, random Hollywood networking thing yeah. at a nice house. But it ended up being like this like, nice, I wouldn't say Illuminati party, but it was the, I feel like it was a recruiting for the Illuminati. Uh-huh. Like, it was like, it's, like the, it's like your first interview to get on Epstein's Island type of place. Yeah. I was, like, I was like, very out of place. Why wow, were they asking you questions? Like, no, but it was a very like high society type of thing. Like, mm-hmm. like people who want to be high society. It was mm-hmm. like some movers and shakers were there. Okay, movers and, I, and shakers. And I met this guy there. We were chatting. Um, um, and uh, I, 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 he said he was Pitbull's manager. Yeah, Pitbull, like the uh, music artist, right? Oh, the one that looks like you. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, oh, this guy, he knows the... He, I, I, he I, gets I, me. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, he, I was like, I was like oh, this guy manages Pitbull. I look like Pitbull. You know, I showed him the podcast. He loved it. He was like, he's very into it. He's, he's like, I could get Pitbull. And I was like, of course he'd want to come. He'd see the podcast. He'd see me. He'd yeah. be like, oh, I, that guy looks like me. I, of course I would go want to be at this yeah, podcast. He's in the club. Yeah, he's in the club. Yeah, the ball club. Yeah, ball. We have similar skin tone. Like, yeah. this would be perfect. Yeah. Um, Not talent, but skin tone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd argue that me and Pitbull's talent are similar, but yeah. different. Apples, oranges, you mm-hmm. know? Okay, go on. Put a pair of glasses on. I could be Pitbull, you know? More like Walter White. Yeah. I mean, they look similar, you know. Do they? Yeah. Um, so he, we're talking. He's like, I can get you Pitbull. And I gave him dates. And then, I, you know, I kept following up with him. And then he blocked me. Uh, Pitbull blocked you? Not Pitbull, the, the manager. Manager blocked you? I don't think he was really the manager. I think he was lying. Huh. I, I, think, I think this guy lied. So you got catfished by a manager? Yeah. What, Not what? the first time it's happened in Hollywood. <laughs> what, why didn't you ask uh, the manager just to come on? Well, he's a liar. Mm. He blocked me. That would have been fun. He blocked me. So yeah, I think when it came to why, the, the why goods, he blocked me. Why don't you unblock him? I can't block him. He blocked me. Well, how does it work? Can you unblock that he blocked you? No, it's, it's blocks are permanent. Well, that's silly. Why I agree, it's silly. Why can't you unblock First somebody First of all, why'd you lie you? about being Pitbull's manager? If all the people to be a liar are the manager, why Pitbull? Well, maybe... Yeah, I don't know. I like, why pick him? At least say you're Beyonce's manager or something. Like, go, like, I mean, Pitbull's big. I love Pitbull. Pitbull, please come on the show. Bald, yeah. bald excellence. We love dogs. Yeah, I love dog. I love the dog and the human. Yeah. Not too many people I can say that for. Uh huh. But, yeah, I think we got. I got. I got famous by the Hollywood. Well, you're a failure. Takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this kind of uh, maybe connected. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, ever since um, you you know you introduced me to uh, um, you know how you play uh, karate. Yeah. Um. So I I researched how to play karate. Yeah. And, and it made me thought of, of some things, like, and I think this is true. Like one way you can always win a fight is to agree. Like if if someone's yelling at you, you know you're. You're such a a loser, you know. You're such a a scrotum licking, you know, titty 
smothering cum face, you know, tampon licking, you know, bad guy. Yeah. Uh, I'll be like, yeah. You know, I agree. Thank you. Yeah. You know, they they couldn't take it. Their head would explode. You know, and then they would keep going, and I'd be like, yeah. You know, you're right. And and and, and so. My thing is, you know, you might be thinking, well, Franklin, what happens if they're like, well, why don't you just jump off the bridge here? You know, I would be like, yeah, you're coming with me, you know, because like that's how to win, right? And, and, and I think in the octagon, this is how I would defeat my NMS. First of all, what the fuck was you talking about? <laughs> First of all, they're not going to insult you. They're just going to punch you in the face. So no. we're going to be like, oh, yeah, let me no, punch you in the face. No, if he punched me, I'd be like, it's a very good punch. Yeah, but then you would just lose the fight. No, no, no. I, You'd be I, just I, in a pool of your own blood. No, no, I, bleeding. Win, the, I win the moral fight. That fight doesn't get you anything. No, it, it, <laughs> no, it gets you to heaven with your dad. Uh, first off, my dad's an aggressive atheist, so I don't even know if he's going to get to heaven. Mm. Just on the technicality. I mean, I'm definitely not going. I'm, I'm not religious. Yeah. Um, you want know to be really funny? Like, how funny it would be if, like, God was just, like, a raging, like, misogynist? Like, you went up there and, like, Shires. hey, God, should I get in here? And he's like, no, you can't get in here. You let women vote. Like, how? <laughs> I clearly said in the Bible, don't let them vote. You know what's scary? Pretty sure God is actually. Yeah. I mean, you read the Bible, pretty misogynist. Yeah, nothing really positive about women. Yeah, they're misogyn a lot of tits. Yeah. You know? <laughs> He's out there like, yeah, why'd you let him work? I, I kept sending you hurricanes. You just came, you, came, you kept letting him work. I thought the message was pretty clear, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's, for the record, I don't think that's true. I think it's just to be funny. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody would think that was going to be true. Yeah, I, mean, I just need to clarify that. I mean, because God's not true, so how would, you know. Yeah. By the way, I meant that. Yeah. <laughs> I will say I am not religious. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah, you're not religious. But sometimes I see people... And I'm just like, you know what? You should just be religious. Like I see these people that are like super into like astrology and like they have the crystals and they have like, oh, well, I should just, the Tauruses and the Leos. I'm like, why don't you just get a real religion? <laughs> Instead of this like nonsense you're watching. Honestly, I see those people. I'd be like, why don't you just get into magic? You know, be a magician. Yeah. You know, you're already there. Yeah. You know, you're already thinking, you know, make a living at it. Yeah. You know, if you, gotta, if you, if you think putting a bunch of pictures on a board is going to magically, magically get you a yeah. boyfriend, pull a rabbit out of a hat. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> start, start. You know, shuffle in those yeah, cards. Yeah. Make them disappear. Yeah. Where's a pigeon, you know? Tell someone to pick a number. Yeah, have some <laughs> <Guess> fireworks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get, get a useful skill. Ah, come on. Yeah. yeah. You got 10 different quartzes lined up. You got like a, you, you got a Gemini. You got a bunch of tarot cards. Make those cards disappear and reappear and find someone's ear. Well, wasn't that that thing I told you about psychics? Um, that they can't. In Pennsylvania, they can't receive money. Is yeah, that what you're yeah, about? yeah. But Excellent you, memory. But you know, and that, that's good. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is like you're walking on the street and a psychic's like, you know, hey, can I tell you your your future for you? And I'm like, well, pretty sure if you were a psychic, you would already know yeah. that answer. <laughs> yeah. It's like you, you can't fool a foolery. Eh? Yeah. You know, like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, can't fool me again. Yeah. If you're a psychic, you should be playing the stock market, not telling, t not telling, not telling tourists for fifty bucks that their boyfriend's going to break up with them. Wouldn't that be the best a uh, sales pitch of yeah. a psychic? I played the stock market, I win every time. Yeah, you know, I play the lottery, I win every time. That should be the next Ty Lopez. Like I'm a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Follow my course on how you can be a psychic too. That's funny. <laughs> I got something actually. Yeah, let's. Um, I got this one. I got a great news article for you guys. Pablo Escobar's Cocaine hippos won't stop having sex and it's destroying the Colombian eco ecosystem. So Pablo Escobar had like these hippos that he bought off some zoo in America. Yeah. And when he got locked up for prison, the hippos kind of escaped and they roamed the wild and they have no predators in Colombia. So they're just like fucking and just populating, overpopulating the countryside and their shit's toxic. So like they're taking these toxic dumps in the rivers, killing off the fish and everything. And they're just running amok and people don't know what to do about it. Was there a question in there? No, it was a news article I want to share. With oh, you. oh. Um, well, I'll, I'll tell you how I feel about that. How do you feel about that? Good for the hippos. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they were uh, uh, enslaved by a, a drug lord, you know, taken from their 
habitat. Well, and and they just changed owners. Really, it was, an, it was an American zoo, and then oh, got, so so so. It's over the slave, like a slave. Hippo slave, slave trade. <laughs> more, more. <laughs> Hip, hippo trafficking. <laughs> yeah. 12 Years of Hippo. <laughs> oh, God. That's that, his movie, 12 uh, Years of Hippo. <laughs> I'd watch it. Um, so, all right, so they, they trade the slave hippos. Yeah. And now the drug lord's got them. And <laughs> he's he dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. So how old are these hippos? Well, it's like the hippo's probably grandkids at this point. So the the hippo lineage has. Oh yeah, that that exploded in population. So the, oh, so they've evolved. All these hippos have now evolved. Yeah. It's it's like it's kind of killing other animals in the, in the. Well, one could argue Pablo Escobar kind of like, you know, maybe a little, little Darwin there. You know, kind of. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe he's doing something good. He's like, yeah. you know what? Maybe they need hippos yeah. in this side of town. Yeah, it's because they tried to. They originally they tried to try to move the original hippos out because he had a bunch of bets, right? He had a bunch of exotic birds and stuff. So they captured those. Like they had like ostriches and lions and stuff. So he was he was able to move them out, but the hippos were too aggressive because, as you know, hippos very violent. No, so, they're, they're they're very docile. Hippos are like the most violent. They kill the most animal on the on the Egypt. No, no, we I've, talked about this last season. I, I've petted a hippo. He was he was he was he was a trained hippo. I'm pretty sure I, c I could even ride a hippo. Hippos would murder you. No, uh, I, hippos no. are like incredibly violent. A hippo would take me home, and and honestly, a hippo would pay for the you, bill. Have you seen how take hungry me they home are? and and let me stay the whole night? No, they'd beat you. N they're violent. Uh, maybe that they're into it. Maybe I've been into it. You're into some hippo BDSM. Maybe if they paid for dinner. I don't. They have money. honestly anybody pay for dinner. I'm into anything. You know, you pay for dinner, whatever you want. You heard that, Internet. Yeah, yeah. His DMs are open. He's available. Don't know how to use them. For a one pay <laughs> dinner. You can, you can blowtorch him afterwards. Okay. You know, I'll, let's, 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 let's do chat GPT. Oh, and then okay. we'll, we'll kick over you guys. I, I, I got chat GPT out here. I wanted to see, predict some silly news articles. Okay. Some articles that they'll, could hit the streets in 2023. Florida ran arrested for trying to trade alligators for beer. Wait, wait, wait. Florida. Florida? Man arrested for trying to trade alligators for beer. What's wrong with that? I mean, this is a news article. I think it's illegal to trade trade gators. It's like an illegal animal oh, trade. I don't think that should be illegal. First of all, that article, that, that's definitely happening in Florida right now. Somewhere in Florida, a man is trading I mean, I believe that article. Yeah. I, I heard an article that an alligator knocked on a door in Florida just about the man who opened it. <laughs> I like that argument. I like the gator style. <laughs> this gator, actually, I, and I read something else about it, anaconda that swallowed a whole gator whole. Oh, yeah, they do that. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, anacondas are brutal. They, they must suck some good dick. Oh, I think they bite your dick off. There's no real sucking. It's no, just, they just swallow you whole. Yeah, they just swallow you whole. <laughs> it's like, do you spit or swallow? I, they, they swallow. Everything. Everything. <laughs> So, I'd love to meet a girl like that. <laughs> I, you, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> so, woman spends twenty thousand dollars on plastic surgery to look like Snapchat filters. That's already probably already happened. Wait, what? This is a Chat GPT. No, no, I get yeah. that. Women spends woman spends twenty thousand dollars on plastic surgery to look like Snapchat filters. I feel like a girl already has done What's that. What's a Snapchat uh, filter? Like those filters you got that make you prettier on Instagram and stuff. What? You the filters? Like filter, like they put the filter on and you look different. Oh, like those effects? Like the doggy ears, yeah, it's the effects. So somebody got doggy ears on, on their... That's what ChatGPT is saying. Someone's going to get the filters. Just like doggy ears, pig nose. Yeah. 20,000. I feel We're like... We're living in a fucking zoo. <laughs> we are living in a zoo. <laughs> we got Pablo Escobar's cocaine hippo slaves running our muck. Well, you know, can I... Uh, about zoos? Yeah. I had this in a car, but I'd come up now. Yeah. Uh, there's a zoo, I believe it's in Japan, I'm not sure. Probably not, that just came to mind. Where the animals are free and the humans are in the cages. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, and they throw meat on the cages. Yeah. So the animals, so that's yeah. terrifying. That's, that's terrifying. Why would you put yourself in that position? You want to see the animals, man. I'd do that. You would do that? Yeah. I'll, I love animals. I'll pay you $20 to go do that. Wow. It'll probably it. cost me more to even get there. 
Well, yeah. however it'll cost, I'll cover the okay, cost. Okay, yeah, I love that. To see you do that. <clears throat> yeah. Fine. I'll be a smile on my face, grinning ear to ear. Yeah, I, I bet it, it won't be so He's not going to ha- break the cage. Happy. Um, um, a giant rubber duck goes missing in Hong Kong Harbor. That's a new story I'm, 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 I can't wait for. Are a lot of rubber ducks going missing? Who's to say? I've never been to Hong Kong. Are these, are these fake? These are ChatGPT predicts headlines oh. to come in 2023. Oh. Um, police warn against using squirrel as a breathalyzer trust. Very obscure. I think there's a cryptic message there that ChatGPT is trying to warn us. <laughs> or it's a trap, one uh, of the two. Uh, a squirrel as a, a breathalyzer test? Yeah. So what do you do? Do you blow on the squirrel? Or does the squirrel blow on you? I think the squirrel will blow on you. Who's blowing who here? I think the squirrel <laughs> blows on you. <laughs> That's a nutty situation. Pretty good. I like that. And the final one. I like this one. Police officer discovers cow riding in backseat of a car during routine traffic stop. I'd watch that. That sounds like a Chick-fil-A ad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Uh, I got um, I got a hypothetical for you. Okay. If you could have any animal as a pet, but it had to be the size of a mouse, what animal would you choose? It had to be the size of a mouse, but I could pick any animal. Yeah. Oh, it's a turtle. I feel like that's a little... Now, now you're really crossing into dangerous waters with a mini turtle. What? I know what you're going to do with that turtle. And what? I don't think it's I'm right. I'm take care of it. It's going to be my baby. Yeah, I mean, you, I know how way you. I know what you want. How you want to take care of a turtle, and I don't know. What I feel you should only do that. I, to, to, I feel like you should only do it to full size turtles. It's unconditional love. You should save that type of love for a full size okay. turtle. All right, let me think. I don't want you jizzing. You might jizz on a turtle and it drown. Fine, whatever. Negative Nancy. Um. I mean, you can pick that. If that's your choice. No, I'll pick it. I'm uh, just like, don't let the feds know. Uh, d- d- uh a dinosaur. That's a great answer. A Thank mini dinosaur. That'd be fun. Yeah, mini dinosaur. Yeah, a little, a little ankle biting T Rex. Just like, yeah, he's cute. Yeah, he's cute. So look, he's biting you. Yeah. Like, it's like you, you bring your friends over. Look at my back. Oh, he's biting your yeah. ankles. Yeah, he's trying to murder oh, you. Oh my God, there's blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have an ankle anymore. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, me too. I get an eagle. An eagle? Yeah, I have it, I've used it as a drone to spy on people. Why don't you just get a drone? They're too big. People will see that coming. Eagle's same size it's as a mouse drone. size, like a little fucking. Oh, mouse size. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I, I put a little. Do I you know that um, I had a card about this? Scientists created a, a camera that is the size of a rice grain, and it takes as good as pictures as a normal uh, big camera. Damn. You, you know who's going <clears> to <throat> love that? Pedophiles. Yeah. Stalkers. Jeffrey Epstein, too. Cyrus. I don't know. I, what, I, what? 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 Who said? Well, we'll bring that. I'm anti I, this. You, I'm against all these things. Yeah, no, me too. I'm very outspoken yeah, against absolutely. these things. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're the one who probably put it, in a, put it in, a, in, a, in a sea turtle tank. Yeah, yeah. No, you Do lo- kinds of awful things. Wink. Yeah? No. No, that was a blink, not a wink. Yeah. What? You put a lot of innuendos out there. What's a prison wallet? I think it's your asshole. Is that really? Yeah. They, 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 it's all called hooping. They put it up their butt. How do, how do you know that? I got really depressed one day. And I went a YouTube rabbit hole. I went deep into prison YouTube. This whole YouTube channel is dedicated to like my life story, my, my life in prison. Really? Yeah. What, what's says something uh, really funny that you saw in that that you'd like to share with the audience today? I mean, the big, um, I don't know if it was funny or anything, but the big things I learned is like you have to basically put everything up your butt. There's a lot of hooping. Like if you go, like you have to have paperwork to make sure like you're, you're not a snitch or you're not a, um, you're not a child molester or done any sex crimes. You have this paperwork you carry with you. When you go from prison cell to prison cell, you just stuff a lot of things up your butt. You think you could survive prison? I wouldn't want to. It sounds like hell. Oh, here's the thing. People always think in, in movies, they always, when they put stuff up their butt, they make like a ball. You're actually, they say, they say, that's wrong. You're supposed to make it like a turd. So they like flatten it out. Jesus. So it's like a little turd you put that's up there. just, I, I regret going down this. Also, if you're in, you have to hang out with your own race in your California prison. They don't let race mingling. Well, shouldn't you think like, um, in, um, in, um, prisons, they should invest in some soap holders? 
You know what, what was interesting? With all these people <clears throat> dropping stuff, just put a holder in there. You know what's interesting? Actually, these prison videos, this is really interesting, is that if you're in the general population, there's apparently not that much butt stuff because it's frowned upon. It's amongst the gangs. Mm. But if you're like a snitch or if you're like a rapist or you're, if you end up in like in this like special protections, that's where all the rapists are. So that's where if you drop, that's where they, that needs the holders. Okay. I just want to inform people Thanks. about things. You know, Godzilla suit uh, that was worn in the movies weighed two hundred and twenty pounds. I thought it was. A, I thought it was a. It was a suit. Yeah, he wore a suit. Who wore? There was an actor in there. Yeah. How did he move? With his arms and legs. He must have been very strong. Yeah, because he, he was Godzilla. I thought that was all animatronics and stuff. No, it's all real. It's true. It was a documentary. I forgot about that. If Japan you could, had a rough time in the fifties. Well, if you, <laughs> if you could create a monster. To defeat Godzilla, who would it be? I it would be a giant robot. A giant robot. You be like but Pacific they, Rim. They've already yeah, but they didn't win, did they? They won. No, I don't think so. Godzilla always wins. Well, uh, this is in the movies, but in real life, you'd make a robot that could beat Godzilla. You no, know, in real life, you would make a giant squirrel. That could be pretty good. I mean, because you know what a squirrel's gonna do. What's he gonna do? Hide his nuts. No, he's gonna be like. What do you do with the squirrel after he kills Godzilla? He ain't gonna kill him. What is he gonna he's do? Gonna bring peace. They're gonna be friends. A giant squirrel and Godzilla—they're gonna get along. Are you, are you jerking off to Godzilla fucking a squirrel? No, is this what's happening? No. What what what's uh, something from a movie? Not soft. Just <clears throat> general movie that you've seen that doesn't exist, but you'd like it to exist. I have one, and this is goes back to the last one. I would like to see a giant robot, and I don't understand. Like a Godzilla-sized robot. And I don't understand why we don't have it yet. Like, we have a defense budget of how many trillions of dollars? How have we not made a giant mechanized unit that can shoot lasers? Like, what are we even spending all this money? It's like $8 trillion. Where are the giant robots? What are they doing with the money? You know what I would want? Uh, those bulletproof clothes. Yeah. You know, like, and John Wick has, like, special clothes, right? Yeah. They're, like, bulletproof, I think. Where's everything that was weird? Where was the flying cars... Where's the Jetsons stuff? Where's the ho hoverboards? Yeah, where's They I, made these hoverboards. They're like, it's a hoverboard. I'm like, that, that's the size of a car. Yeah. That ain't no hoverboard. And then they say, oh, we made a, a, they say a flying bike. And I'm like, that's not a bike because it doesn't roll. Yeah. Bikes roll. And they're like, no, it's a flying bike. It flies in the air. But you put it on the ground, it can't roll. So it's just a drone. Yeah, I don't know. What, what, are, they, what are they inventing, these inventors? Uh -huh. only, every year, these new technologies come out. And nothing like, nothing I've ever seen in the movies is yeah. real. Well, just focus on three things. Yeah. Curing cancer, curing aging, and making my dick bigger. I think a dick might happen first. Whatever orders yeah. works for them. And giant robots, actually. I, we need giant robots as a society. I think it'll make us happier. We have giant robots. I have a question. It's related to technology. If humans could fly tomorrow, let's say we could all fly, um, what, um, do you think people would still make cars and other forms of transportation? If everybody could fly? Yeah. How fast can you fly? Fast. Superman fast? Yeah, let's say we go off Superman fast fly. <sighs> be chaos. No. That's not that fast. Let's say car fast. <clears throat> be funny. Yeah. Um, no, I don't think that. There's a commercial from like the 80s that showed what uh, people look like without their cars on the roads. And it's just these people walking <laughs> and they stop at a stop lot and then they cry. It's really funny. You'd be great. It if would you, be like that. You would be good to fly, but we have to be in a seated position like a car. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, like this. That would be funny. On. I think, um, I think they, people would make cars if that was the case. Cool. And why, you know what it is? Once rich people could do the same thing as poor people, they wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> They'd be like, no, I need a Bugatti. So like, they'd be like, oh, they'd just be luxury cars. No, you know what the rich people would do would buy uh, accessories for flying. So like, I need, I need the, yeah, you know, like a the boot. apple wing. Yeah, you know, or whatever. Yeah, because they had the happier way for them not to look do the things the poor people are doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or they would be like, oh, we have we fly at a higher altitude or something. I got something for you. Let me let me pull up let me pull up some stuff. I have a question. I have an answer. How come, how come no one televises the Nobel Peace Prizes? Like, I, I, th I thought they do. No, you can't get, it's not, it's not, at least like stream it on YouTube. Like how is, no, how is there no production value? Are you sure? And, I'm pretty sure they, they televise it. I've never seen the Nobel Peace Prize. Well, I, I mean, have no you one. looked for it? 
No, it's not advertised. Like, how is this not advertised? But if you look for it, I'm pretty sure you can. Like, why is it? Like, I, you, I bet you get ludicrous to perform at the Nobel Peace Prize why isn't, for free. Like, wh- well, it's the same thing. Like, why isn't the AVN Awards on CBS? You can get that one somewhere. But that's like yeah, but, but but not national. That the, the AVN has better production than the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> think about that. I think all these celebrities like world peace, world peace. Why don't you guys enter host? But one of them will host the, the Nobel Peace Prize. AVN's better than the Oscars. Yeah, more prestigious. Definitely more prestigious. You win an AVN award, you're doing something right. Like literally, yeah. you're doing it right. Yeah, you are literally doing it right. Yeah. But yeah, I'd love to. I like to see the Nobel Peace Prize on YouTube or something. What kind of awards do you have at AVN? Like, like, like best at anything. Like best, best come shot? Yeah, exactly. Best three-way, best female performer, <laughs> firmest dick or something. Do they have like a special effects one? I wonder who's the best editor. <laughs> what about best a, sound design. Best, best fluffer. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely deserves an award. That seems like an unsung hero. But the def, best fluffer deserves an award. Yeah. They're really the true stars of, 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 the, of, the, of the porn world. Um. Although I think the, the people self fluff, fluff now, times are tough. I got I got a uh, one. Yeah, go for it. Uh, can you live if you're dead? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. I, I think that's. I think I think you should. That kind of answers itself. Do you believe that you should not change yourself, but you should change change? Uh. Don't change yourself. We should change, change. I can see that. Yeah. I can, I'm open to this. I carry quarters around all the time. Oh, you mean like change, change that way? What way? I meant like change the idea of change. What idea? Like the the concept of changing. Yeah, you got yeah changing. I'm you know I'm again I don't like I don't like coin. You know I think we should go. How about this? Why don't we go old coins? What are you talking about coins for? You said you you carry change. Oh, is that what I said? Yeah, I thought that's what you're saying. Uh, yeah, well, I carry change around all the time. I'm always changing. Yeah, but you're saying the same too. It's kind of it's kind well, of it's. You're well, not changing your clothes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Let me tell you that. You lock this. Uh, w- would you rather be decapitated? Yeah. By an executioner, or die by prison? Oh, but, uh, excuse me. Would you rather be decapitated by an executioner or die by poison? If poison, you're having your balls fondled at the same time. Um, I want to get a- the and a finger in the butthole. I want to get decapitated, but I wouldn't want an executioner do it. I would want an enthusiast. You know, I want. I want. I want a guy. I want a guy. I don't want a professional. I want. I want a guy. I want an aspiring ex- executioner. Why? Why they're gonna screw up and you have half a head gone? You know what? I want to give a guy a shot. You know. Yeah, it's gonna mess up his. I don't want. I want to be. Spe- I want to be someone's first decapitation. What are you talking? That's like going to. That's like getting heart surgery and going. I don't want the expert. I want. I want the aspiring heart surgeon. No, who I, hasn't heart done surgeon. this before. I mean, first of all, I'm dead anyway. <laughs> so he's gonna keep chopping. So it doesn't matter. But like this well, execution, horrible. it's gonna be painful. I want to be someone's. I want. I want to be special. Well, poison's <clears throat> painless. I want to be. I want to be a special for this person. He's like, oh, he, Stu- yeah. I remember this. He's stupid my first answer. answer. You're gonna some professional. He's gonna just chop your heart. He's not gonna even feel what, anything. What is wrong with you? That's a stupid answer. He's not even gonna feel anything. He's not gonna feel any emotions. You, you There's gonna don't, be no emotional connection between you and your beheader. You're, you're going to have blood spilling out when he messes I'm up. I'm gonna be spilling out regardless. No, it, it, boom, done. Heads off. I just want to give someone a chance. To be better. What if we were just heads? I want my I want my I want my excuse to be inspiring to somebody. That's gonna be uninspiring. It's gonna be inspiring to one guy who who, who did it. And this guy's gonna be a, he's gonna be a real passionate. It might make about him better in the future. That's for yeah. Sure. I, ch- I changed the world for better. Mm-hmm. World needs good executioners. All right, back to karate. Oh, I love that. Um, do you think a UFC karate man could defeat a KFC karate man? I think it could be the KFC karate man. I don't think it could be the Popeye's karate man. Mm. Popeye's karate is very strong. Yeah. I see them fighting all the time on YouTube. Mm. How about Jean Claude Van Damme? Yeah, he beats everybody. He he does beat everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. He's he's very nice. He's good. Oh, I didn't think you were gonna agree with me because like, have you seen Hard Target? No. The movie with Jean Claude Van Damme, he punches a snake right in its face. Boom! Snakes 
Uh, you can't beat a guy who punches a snake. Yeah. He's the only Frenchman that I would want in battle. Yeah. He's the only, he's the only, like, he's the only Frenchman that could stop a German. You think you could be a scout leader? Me? Yeah. Like Boy Scouts? No, I don't know how to tie knots. Hmm. What about you? I don't think you'd be allowed near a scout looking the way you look like. <laughs> okay. I don't think you'd do anything, but I just, you'd, you'd be raising a lot of red flags with those glasses. Are, are you the type of person that moves out of the way for someone, or do they move out of the way for you, like on the sidewalk? Um, I, like to go, I, I like to go back and forth, hmm. you know. Sometimes I like to make them move. Sometimes I like to let them move for me. Hmm. Sometimes I move for them. Hmm. I don't really like to, I, I don't like to get in my head about it. I like to let yeah. it nat flow naturally. Yeah, yeah. I just stand there. I can see that. And that's I that's see, good for you. I see what happens. Yeah, I, that's good for you. You know, play chicken. I like that. That's, that's, that's good. If you could have super strength, but it meant you'd have no arms, would you do it? Yeah. But. What, oh, a question. Would it also make my dong stronger? Uh, let me reference and see if <laughs> the encyclopedia here <laughs> gives information. Okay. No. What, what was the question? Does it, will it make my dong stronger? Will it make a dong? It will not make your dong stronger. No, I don't want this thing. No, you don't no, want this? No. No. Okay. no. I lose. I mean, if you gave me dong strength, I don't need arms. So if you had super strength. Eh, super eh, strong legs, dong, rest of my core. Yeah, good. Well, how's it? Okay. What do you think about. What he, would you pick? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't do it. Obviously, because it'd be stupid to what do What about it. if your dong got super strong? And I still wouldn't do it. I don't that need a strong a dong. Yeah. I'm not a, a dick slapping people in the face, except in the octagon. Well, maybe if you had a stronger dong, you would. Mm -hmm. I have a news article for you. But yeah. I think this is really relevant because, you know, there's economic hard times. So I hope this, this article inspires people. <laughs> um, a woman in Texas stole almost $1,000 in meat. Over $800 of it was fajita meat. Uh, a meme? Meat. Meat. Yeah, like meat. Eating meat th th from, from a cow. Th th thanks for that. That, that really... <laughs> yeah, the sound language there helped yeah, me Yeah, you were struggling, so yeah. I, was trying, I, I was trying to help her move so along for meat. you. So the meat... She stole a grand of meat. 800 of it was fajita meat. So what? I just think it's inspiring. You know, there's tough economic times. And I, 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 like, I like when people steal necessities. So you, you're in favor of thieving... I'm in favor of thieving for necessities. So, like, if I really needed, uh, let's say, a Charleston chew. Yeah, you just steal a chew. Mm -hmm. Let's say I really needed a 60-inch a television screen. 60 is excessive. I feel like 30 is stealable. 60, you're a fine, that's a luxury item. Fine, 30. Yeah. PS5. That's that. That one's. I don't even. I don't even know where you could go. I don't even know how you could steal one. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know where they are. Yeah, you know what? If you stole it from a reseller, I think I'd be okay with it. Okay. Okay. Assault rifle. If you're gonna use it for good. <laughs> if you're gonna shoot up a school, no. If you're gonna shoot up, shoot the guy shooting the school. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's oh, fine. Right. Then you're a hero. Okay. Uh, how about this one? Yeah. What do you think about humans gaining a leg? That's it? Oh, I have more, but what do you think? Is this, is this a willy joke or is this like a real leg? No, no. What do you think? How do you feel about humans if they gained another leg? Would you want that? How you, like, how you, will it make me run faster? Uh, use your imagination. I'd say yes if it can enhance my life. Okay. How about a, a, an arm? If you had one more arm, like three arms. I prefer four. Three is a little off balancing. What about a pocket? We have a butt wallet. <laughs> so hey, that's no pocket. I'm talking about like a pocket right here. I'd want it in my like uh, thigh or something. So you pick a pocket. I, I I pick a pocket. Yeah. It'd be like a skin pocket though. It'd be weird. Yeah, it would be weird. You know? But maybe I could put my ID in there. Okay. Make sure it doesn't lose it. Okay. Uh, how about what, what, you know, you're talking about decapitation. Yeah. Um, like what if instead of humans 
and their bodies. We were all just heads. Like Futurama? Yeah. I don't know, man. All that brain and no body, it seems, seems, people, I think people get real weird. You need a, you need a body to kind of level you out. It was all cerebral and there's no body. It feels imbalanced. Hmm. Will I get to be a, connect like a robot body that feels? No, I think you'd be in like a vase, like in that. No, nah, that sounds like a nightmare. Okay. That's the worst case scenario. Yeah, it sounds peaceful. Yeah, we were talking about thievery earlier. And um, <clears throat> I, I, there's that, that Silicon Valley bank. I don't know if you heard about it. It went under. They did like, they best, basically messed up banking. And then they went under. Lost a bunch of people. There's a run on the bank. Kind of caused a lot of financial problems. Mm. Um, this is an idea I want to put out to you. Um, well, put it out to me, baby. I think uh, if, if your bank yeah. gets bailed out, like if you're running a bank and it gets bailed out, okay. um, you, should, you, should have, you should have to like just clean random people's houses until the money gets paid back. Why, why, why don't you... What? There should be like more shame. Like, you, like if you get bailed out, if you run a bank and it gets bailed out, like you know in Game of Thrones where they have the person naked walking and you're saying shame. Shame, shame. Yeah, I think we should start doing that to white collar criminals. Why don't you just put them in, in the octagon? I like that. You know, make them fight. Yeah, I like that. You know, use them as fighters, kind of like, you know, what they did with slaves in, in Rome. I think, you know what? I think if you, like, there's like that, that uh, FTX guy, the crypto scammer. I think if you become, commit white-collar crime, you should become a slave. Oh, so you, now, now you, you're, you're pro-slavery. Pro-slavery only for white-collar criminals. It's not a race thing. It's not a gender thing. It's just a white-collar crime thing. And it's not forever. It's like 20 years or something. That's a long time. That could be forever for a lot of people. Yeah, but I feel like that's, that'll deter fraud. So, so instead of prison... These guys don't get prison. <laughs> Nothing happens to anybody. That's true. <laughs> Who, like, imagine from the first bank, banking financial crisis in like 2000 whatever. Some of those guys were slaves. I, get you, I bet you banks would act right. Because like... They'd be like, I don't want to be a slave. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. You should take it up with your congressman. I know. I mean, we give a lot. I mean, this is, a, I went back. We should be a think tank. Uh, I'm not a, a opposed to it. Yeah. How would you design your own torture chamber? Oh, very easy. It'd be a room uh, with a chair, uncomfortable chair. Uh, and then there would be a television and you'd be strapped in and you'd be forced to watch Man of Street videos. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you would do <laughs> that dating podcasts <laughs> dating advice podcast that's funny yeah I think yeah I, I'd probably make them watch something too like uh, I, I'd make them watch just all the uh, uh, you know those uh, videos on uh, I was on YouTube it's yeah. on the dark web. <laughs> you know, to, no, they're, some real, they're, real... they're just like, you know, regular people in their homes, but it's like, it's like dark and it's like, and they're trying to do TikTok. It, it just doesn't look. You want to make it people watch people do TikToks? Yeah. That's a pretty bad punishment. Hmm. Maybe I just. Maybe you could be a little stricter. What if I uh, tortured uh, them with kindness? That's um, or tickling, like maybe I tickle them. You know? they, some people might like it. Well, what do you do? I, you start tickling, them, they get a boner. Then what are you gonna do? Well, I, I I would say you know before doing it, I would say some people experience side effects. You may enjoy this. <laughs> you know? I think I'll guarantee you, someone wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, well, what are you <laughs> if do? someone told me that, I'd be like, yeah, I, I'm not gonna like this at all. All right, let me let me see what I got here. What is Fortnite? It's a game. Okay. It's a game, very popular amongst the youth. Like a board game? A uh, video game. Hmm. There's a lot of dancing. Honestly, it's kind of like a, at this point, kind of like a it's like almost a fever dream watching that game. They have like Spider Man shooting a shotgun at like Goku. It's like every thing of everything of like pop culture rammed into one shooting game. Where where do you play it? I don't know. I think Xbox or like whatever, wherever popular games are played. I cook, uh, um, would you rather have the ability to breathe underwater or fly in space? Would I rather have the ability to breathe underwater? Fly in space, duh. Yeah, as you got there and. I'd go anywhere. Yeah. Maybe find a planet that I could swim in the water. Yeah. Yeah. 
We already found one. Find another one, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. But way better fly in space. Yeah. You're going to be like Aquaman. No one likes Aquaman. Yeah, they found another ocean under the ocean that we have. Oh, we have a, there's ocean two? And guess what? We, there's more water in ocean two than all the water on the surface of Earth. Where is this? It's in the middle of, uh, the like, you know, under the, so there's, here's the ocean water, right? Yeah. And then there's, like, crust or whatever yeah. for the Earth's mantle. And then it's, like, right below that, there's just huge ocean water. I'm going, that's where the mermaids are. Yeah. You know, that's where all these creatures that. It's like some journey to the center of the Earth type shit. You know? no, it's, it, and it's real. Is it fresh water or is it salt water? Well, I, I can get that far, I'm a scientist, but, but I'll read it. I read it. This makes you think a lot of things could be true now. That's what I mean. It opens up everything. Because it's like, maybe that's where the aliens are. It, why are we and going And maybe there? why the aliens are always over water is because they're shooting up from that water. Is there, like, are the people down there? Well, we, we, we well, got to. Well, maybe that's where the lizard people are. Look, I only got, we're only baby steps, you know? We're, we're, we know that's there. Now we got. You really can't drop a bomb like that on me and then <laughs> just walk away. I, I need answers. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll research it. I'll research it. I got something for you. Okay. What class that isn't taught in schools that should be taught? Ooh, uh, love this. Um, had to actually make money. L okay. Like, w the, here are the skills you need when you're an adult. And, and it's a whole class of like, how to pay your bills, you know, uh, ha how to, uh, you know, meet somebody to have touch-ins with, you know, stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> I you, teach you how to have sex. <laughs> yeah, how to go to grocery store, okay. you, you know, um, you know, how to use self-checkout, you know, decide self-checkout better than cash, you know, do yeah. those things. Um, how to go, you know, proper elevator uh, escalator uh, etiquette. Yeah. Uh, you know, things that are important. Practical everyday things. Yeah, things are important. You yeah. know, like what are taxes? You know, stuff like that. Yeah. I would do doomsday prepping. Okay. I think that's a skill we should all learn. Yeah. Because everyone's like, oh, these doomsday preppers, they're so dumb. I can't believe they're doing that. Well, like, if mankind dies, they're the guys going to be left to repopulate. They're, they're only dumb now. Yeah. They're going to be the smartest guys the, the, yeah, and, that. and if you think they're so stupid, they're the ones making yeah. the next Did you generation see of humans. The, the Last of Us? No. The, well, there's a guy who, who he has a whole bunker, and he, he was already prepared for for the outbreak. And, and you know what? He had the best house on the block in the whole world. Honestly, everyone shits on Doomsday. It looks fun, like canning vegetables with, with your loved do, ones. Do you think you could survive in a who? What kind of person would you be in an apocalypse? I'd, uh, I'd hopefully I'd love to be able to be in an economic situation where I could doomsday prep. You know, I'd love to be able to. No, but I mean, bunker. like the apocalypse has happened. Yeah. What kind of person are you like? You know, going to be one of those ravager pirates? No, I don't want to be a ravager pirate. So who are you going to be? I'd like to make like a nice agrarian, like chill society. I have some like cool friends. So you want some people with you? Yeah, like we hang out in a nice place. We got a wall. Every once in a while, we kill the raiders. They try to attack us. We 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 kill them. You know. Some nice and fun like that. Some like Walking Dead more. Yeah, we get like a weird quirky science Alexandria. guy. Alexandria. Yeah, we get a weird quirky science guy. He's in the back making science. Yeah. I'd like that. Yeah. Make sow, sow the seeds of some nice civilization. Huh. Try to make things good for the next, for the future. I'd like that. Huh. I don't want, these people, I don't want to be a raider. Like, lacks imagination. Lacks creativity. Huh. He's just a leech, you know, yeah. just mooching off, ruining things. Yeah. You know? I like to, you know, kill the zombies. The worst part of apocalypse is there's like a zombie apocalypse. It's not the zombies. It's the other humans. Yeah. People don't think about that. The zombies, they're slow. You kill them. You build a wall. You know, it's easy. The other humans, they're tricky. They try to s steal from you. Yeah. I'd be a zombie. You, I mean, you could be a zombie today, honestly. You're like almost there. You got like the form, like the posture. Very zombie-like. I mean, you're practicing. You're focused on the, I mean, you're looking upset, but you're focused on a goal. I like that. You're working towards it. Do you know the Star Wars holiday movie? Hmm. Famous film. Uh, yeah, was, it was made for TV, and it was only shown once in 1978, and it's never been released on video. Release 
the Star Wars holiday special made for TV movie petition fandom. Get your Twitter people. Disney to do Plus, it. release it. Yeah. <clears throat> the people want it. Yeah, we don't need a live action anything. We just want the Star Wars holiday thing. Release it. You want to hear another Star Wars thing? Yeah, I love Star Wars. Yoda was originally going to be played by a monkey in a mask. I think they might have made a mistake. I think they missed an opportunity there. (laughs) I think that would have been a better movie. (laughs) I would have have loved to see a monkey. And then you can imagine a lot of baby Grogu (laughs) right now. A little Uh, monkey. Yeah, like like you got a little baby monkey right now. That's (laughs) great. Monkey better than Yoda. Come on. (laughs) Yeah, monkey Yoda. Yeah, it's just like throwing poop at Luke when he's not doing things right. That's not the way you do it. (laughs) Yeah. You know, er, d- you know, do not try. <laughs> do, do, do. do not try. Do do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you know the sound of a lot saber uh, was a combination of projector motor and buzz from in from. Uh, yeah, well, oh, in old TV. Sorry. A uh, buzz from old TV. Yeah. Yeah. A projector motor and a buzz from old TV. That's a. That's, I see that. Yeah. That's good. That's a fun fact. You want, you want some more? Yeah, give me a couple more. Okay, you silly goose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Star Wars was originally titled The Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, they dropped the... The The. Yeah, obviously. It's yeah. kind of like uh, Prince. Or like, was, was it he... The Prince? Or like, oh, it's like P. Diddy. It, was, it used to be Puff Daddy, and then it was yeah. P. Diddy. Yeah. 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 Uh, Harrison Ford was a carpenter. Hired to build cabinets yeah, for George Lucas. Yeah, I did know that. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, those Hollywood stories don't happen anymore. You got to blow some. <laughs> yeah, you got to do more than that. <laughs> you got to do more to make some carpets. <laughs> I mean, you got to toss that salad. You got to work a different yeah, kind of wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got a job. Do you know they made an invisible wood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that's where a scientist invented yeah. an invisible wood. I'm going, you're not helping any of us guys out. Yeah, don't let Harvey you know? Weinstein know that. He's going to stick up on a lot of shit. <laughs> it was invisible wood. Uh, the world's largest hot dog weighed 1,100 pounds, but but obviously weighed less if it was cold. Yeah, pretty good. The world's oldest piece of chewing gum is 9,000 years old. I don't want to Would know. you chew it? No. <laughs> I don't chew new chew, chewing gum. Do you know what the dot above the eye is called? No, what is it called? A titty. That's not true. Okay, it's called a tittle, but it's close to titty. A titty, yeah. I don't know why they named it. <laughs> you didn't need to name it anything. Someone just want to squeeze the word titty into the English who, language officially. Who, who has that job? I want that job to yeah. name things like that. Uh, the world's largest inflatable obstacle course is over a thousand foot long. Can you guess where it is? Uh, Madagascar. Qatar. They would have some dumb shit like that. <laughs> Those fucking guys, they build every dumb thing imaginable. Uh, now, the where do you think the largest uh, inflatable bounce house is? Also Qatar. Santa, Dubai. Santa Barbara. Uh, shout out Santa Barbara, giving those oil money and run for the money. We're coming for you, yeah, Santa yeah. Barbara. We're coming to that. Um, I got a quote hypothetical Oh, I'm you. sorry. So if you could have a celebrity and the president change places for the day, yeah. Who would you pick? If I could pick a celebrity to be president? Yeah, the president would be the celebrity. Like, they, they do like a... Uh, Mor- Morgan Freeman. He's been the best... I had a question that, who do you think the best movie president is? And I was going to say Morgan Freeman, and then I would pick Morgan Freeman for this as well. Morgan well, is good. I think the guy who... Independence Look how is. he handled Deep Impact. I, uh, yeah. I think, I think the... Um, the Independence guy, the guy, though, is the best president. Bill Pullman? Yeah. Yeah, he's a close second. He's one. I mean, he beat if, up a whole alien invasion. L- listen to me. If aliens are come, all right, I'll give you this. Yeah. Bill Pullman, best president. Morgan Freeman, God. Also, hold on. Yeah, God. best God. Also, yes, another one, Harrison Ford in, in oh. Air Force One. <laughs> that was a great president. Equally. Yeah. It, he could be, I, I would, you know, get, yeah. get, get off my country. Yeah, yeah, yeah get <laughs> off my plane. I, don't, I can think of any, of any president in my lifetime that could actually fight off a, a plane full of terrorists. Harrison Ford. Yeah. Only one. But, you know, you know back to Morgan Freeman. He'd be the best. He, I think he is God. And I'll, I'll give you proof. He, on his acres of land, has dedicated it to the survival of bees. So he, he made this whole... He's a bee god in a way. He's a god. To be fair, I've never seen Morgan Freeman and God in the same room together. That's because he is God. Could be. 
I'd, I'd do Alex Jones. <laughs> for 24 hours, I would love, I would love oh my God. <laughs> Alex Jones as president for a day. You already had it. It was Trump. Like, but and, he's and, even more on him. And look what just happened to him. <laughs> it was only for a day. He's going to jail. <laughs> uh, you ever feel like, and I think this relates to our podcast. Yeah. It's kind of serious note, so let me get mm. yeah, a little get, get adjusted. Serious. Why can't people just enjoy things? Okay. Yeah, you know, it's like everyone's a critic. Everybody always got to criticize. If somebody sees somebody, you rarely see them say, oh, wow, this was so great. They're, they're always saying what was bad about it. It's like we spend so much time saying what's bad about something, and we never want to find out what's good about it. And it's like rotten to- tomato. Yeah. You, you know, don't lock that side. You know, because it's like <laughs> you get two categories, right? You got the critics and their score. And then you got the normal people who criticize and their score. Yeah. What's the difference? You got two people criticizing. Just put a one score. You know, I like the separate scores. You know why? Because I know if the critics don't like it and the people like it, that's going to be a banger. Y- yeah, but. That's like the, re- that's the good movies. No, I agree with the, the audience score. Yeah. Uh, I trust more than the critics. Yeah, I don't score. even know why they had the critics score up there. I don't either, and nobody likes them. Yeah. Any of the normal people who read the critics score are going, oh, these idiots. You know what? You're going to be a critic. You should at least be like, first of all, you're just a professional hater. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? Your talent's not that great at, yeah. at doing it. You're anyway. not even a good hater. At least be yeah. clever with your insults. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. You know what I like to do with hate comments? I like to grade, rate them. Like, I like to, like, when it's someone. Great idea. I, I rate them like hey, a number out of 10. We're going to rate your, your hate comments. Yeah. Sarah's going to rate them. I love them, yeah. And we're going to post the best hater a comment gets nothing because you're, <laughs> you're a hater. But we, no, will, we, we will. We will get you something. Yeah. We'll send you a t-shirt. Yeah. Um, I'll keep going. Don't, keep, don't, actually, don't give them anything because they're going to encourage you. We'll just rate you because the, the people are going to just start uh, maybe, maybe we'll just cut that out. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. Don't, go, don't give them anything. Uh, let's keep going. Yeah, I think we got, uh, yeah, we got a couple of questions. A Chinese student's released a virtual 3D kissing machine for long distance relationships. And it looks like an inhaler and a fleshlight had a baby. <laughs> I think they're getting ready for COVID-21. Take, take, <laughs> take your... <laughs> that's, that's what they're doing. They're, they're prepping for the next virus they're going to release. What? Escape out one of their I, fucking labs. I, what? what, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're, I know what you're up to. You're not just fooling anybody. <laughs> I just like... What, 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 I don't know. I've, I, I've been lonely. I've never been making a machine to, to fake pleasure me lonely. It, I, I don't, I, you know, sometimes I'll drool on my pillow. Yeah. And maybe I'm sleeping and maybe we do a little stuff there, but I'm unconscious. Yeah. But I'm never like, wow, I want a device where I can, it literally looks like, but yeah, there's a lips like a fleshlight. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me on this one. <laughs> if you want to be in a long distance internet relationship with someone with a fake thing, you don't want the 300 pound dude pretending to be a woman well, fake kissing you through your stupid machine. Well, I, I, I kind of flipped that though. You know that if somebody bought that with you, that's a keeper. Because anybody who's going to buy some ridiculous thing like that and use it, they're probably going to be with you the rest of your life. They probably will be with you, but they're probably not going to look like their pictures. What, 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 I, what I would way. do is if I knew somebody who had that, I would I would take it from them so, they, <laughs> so I could make out with their wife. <laughs> <laughs> is that cheating? I don't know. Would that be cheating? There's going to be someone hacking. <laughs> That's going to be the new thing. Is it cheating if I use your inhaler fleshlight kissing machine and kissed your wife? Is, it, is your wife cheating on you? What if? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm asking you. I uh, I would say that's cheating. Yeah. Okay. What what if, what if you're like, are right, you like you're 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 FaceTiming you're FaceTiming like your your girlfriend or your virtual girlfriend's like, uh, kissing you over your machine, and then all of a sudden when you're done you get a ring like, hey, it wasn't a girl, it was a dude. It's like, <laughs> yeah, uh, you're gay. <laughs> well, like that. That, that's another question. Yeah. Does that make you gay? Uh, I mean, it's a gray area. It puts you on the, gay, the, the spectrum. Interesting. You know what? It doesn't make you gay, but it makes you definitely a plus. I don't and know the, what And that the is. LGBTI plus, you're going to be in the plus for sure. I don't know. I don't know it's about LGBTIA that. plus. It's a plus for sure. What, what's plus stand for? It's like, I don't know. It's, it's not gay, but it's not straight. It's in the plus. You know, I wrote a book uh, called The Art of Giving Up. Hmm. Zero pages. 
You shouldn't have even wrote the book, honestly. What's that? You should have. Uh, yeah, I'm glad. That's the whole joke, yeah. is that I didn't write it. I don't think you should even talk about it. Because it's called The Art of Giving Up. If you really gave up, you wouldn't even talk about it. You were, you were given up so much, you wouldn't even... That's, that's, <laughs> not, that's not true at all. I have a hypothetical for you. Okay. Uh, no powers. You're not a land. You're not a lord. Anything. Yeah, done. You're just a regular Kill guy. <laughs> Would you rather live in the Game of Thrones universe or the Lord of the Rings universe? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I, me too. <laughs> God, Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's just horrible. awful. <laughs> Looks like Hitler. So. Yeah, like every 10 years is not awful. <laughs> it's a nice Nazi regime. Yeah. At least in Lord of the Rings, like the people seem kind of nice, the lords. Yeah. And you could maybe bang an elf. And you might even be get powers you know you know there's magic there yeah it could have well, there's magic in game of thrones too yeah but it's volatile i, w- I would think um i would think I, I would definitely try to bang an elf in the, in the lord of the rings I, I know you would you know i wonder do you think no, elf dongs are bigger than human dongs elf dongs are yeah bigger? yeah probably i think they are but they got bigger ears yeah but i bet you they don't like they can't they don't they, you can't use them as often it's like on only full moons they can get a boner no, it's not accurate. I don't know. I mean, I've never. How do you know it's not accurate? I've been there. They didn't seem very sexual. The I went to Rivendell for a summer. I mean, that was like not. It was a summer retreat to to uh, for writing. Writing. Yeah, artists artists go there. Okay. And elves are all out. You know, we'll give you so much drugs, you'll be creative. I think you just like. Went to Coachella, dog. <laughs> I, what is Coachella? I don't even know what that is. It's, it's a music festival. No, I mean, I know, but like, what? I don't know. It's a place where people go to listen to music and take Instagram photos. Why is it called Coachella? I don't know. Oh, it's in the Coachella Valley. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you want me to? Yeah, we got one more thing. Let's, you can sign it. Head over the last one. Here's a, a conspiracy. We'll Ooh, end on. This is great. Now, there's a conspiracy that Peter Pan was an angel that held on to kids' hands when they were on their way to heaven. Or as I like to say, that was really Michael Jackson taking them to Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> he had the Michael Jackson write that, write that for you? <laughs> it wasn't heaven. <laughs> but that's why they never grew up, because they're already dead. Yeah, they're already dead. People have like way too much yeah, free time. Wake up, free woman. Who who watched Peter Pan's like ah, let me let me I think they're dead. Um wait, there is one that's kind of like believable. Mm. Uh, you know in uh, the a uh, movie Captain America First Avenger? Yeah. There there's a po- he's in Times Square. Yeah. And there's a poster of a Corona beer and the coronavirus, the picture of the virus. Yeah. They're on billboards. Yeah. That was made in 2011. And there's a conspiracy that that movie predicted or knew somebody knew about it. And Marvel uh, wanted the pandemic for better Disney Plus sales. It's foreshadowing. Um, I like that. I like that one. And you know what else is a great one? You know when in Wingdings, you know that font with the weird... Yeah. If you type 9-11 into uh, Wingdings, it's a plane and two... No, uh, it's not. Two billion. Yeah, it is. I've seen it. Wow. Yeah. Well, did you know dolphins will deliberately pr- provoke putterfish so they will inflate and just play with them? To uh, get high. To, no, like balls. It's just to play with them. A- and my question is, um, I'd like a woman like that. Maybe you should uh, paint your uh, paint your balls pufferfish color and hop in the ocean and get you an aquatic, aquatic wife. You think they make a dating app for me like that? Yeah, I think it could be. It could be uh, Aqua Hinge. I like that. Dolphinder. Tinder, Dolphinder. Dolphin, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Well. Episode two. Stick around episode three. We're going to have more thank, salacious thank, facts. Thank, yeah, thank you again. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to keep going. And, yeah. Uh, you Can't know, stop now. We're in too deep. Well, that's that's what uh, she said, and uh, she never said that. Let's just be real. Well, not to me, she didn't. But the 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 point is, um, you know, keep keep showing your love, because the more love we get, the more we want to do it. Yeah. And that's also what she said. Follow, subscribe, Franklin Cyrus podcast, uh, Spotify, iTunes, whatever you watch it to, uh, at Franklin Cyrus Pod for the social media. Bye bye. I have to. 
Yeah, do it. Thank you.